Okay, uh, good to have you with us again today here at, at Temple Baptist Church. Uh, one more time filling in for Brother Jim. He's uh, probably getting back on his feet pretty good by now, and, and uh, this could be my last devotion for you. I don't know. It depends on the needs of the church at this time. But I had talked to you now uh, in these last days about the Bible, what we believe about the Bible, what we believe about God, what we believe about Jesus Christ as the Son of God. And last devotion was about the Holy Spirit. I, I would have liked to have had about an hour to dealt with that, but maybe next time we'll stretch that out a little bit. But uh, this time today, I want to talk to you about the church. What is the church? You know, the church is the body of Christ, just in short order. It's, it is made up of the, the kingdom of God is made up of saved people. Saved people that have accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Uh, that is the church. The word for church in, in the Greek is, is called ekklesia. It's a called out assembly of people that are called out for a particular purpose. You know, we're, we are not just called to, to sit. You know, one thing we might want to point out is the church is not mine. Uh, I'm, I'm a deacon here at this church. Uh, we've got, I think, 11 other guys that are deacons at the church, but we don't own this church. Uh, I think about uh, Brother Steve. He's our pastor and we love him to death, but he does not own this church. It's not his church. It doesn't belong to the trustees of the church, even though they're charged with the, the, uh, the uh, property of the church. It, it is not that. And it's not even the members of the church. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. He is the head of the church. He is the head of the body of Christ the, that's made up of, of believers. Uh, next time, maybe we might talk about baptism. Uh, believers' baptism. But that is the first thing that we are required to do, that we are commanded to do from God is that that once we accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, is that we be baptized uh, by immersion. And so anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit as, as we move on. This I wanted to comment though, Jesus said in black and white, He didn't beat around the bush about it, about the church, whose church it was. And as He talked about, in uh, Matthew chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, and Jesus answered and said unto him, well, Jesus asked Simon Peter in verse 16, and he answered and he said, Thou art the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, and these three words are the are the statement of ownership of the church. He said, "I will build my church on this, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, or will stand that." And so we we see then who the church belongs to. It it is God's church, and and we we are way out of place when we begin to feel like it is our church. We want to have a possession of, I feel like we have a possession of a church. We work and we minister and we, we feel that, we, that concern for this thing that, that we call the, or my church. We call it that and that's a little bit of a misnomer. But as long as we realize in our mind that this is God's church, and He guides the church. He directs the church. We talked about last time how that the Holy Spirit uh, can be grieved. Well, the church can be grieved. And, and, and in the life of a church, a church goes through the same thing that, that uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, that Jesus goes through. We can be grieved or we can be blessed. And we kind of bring that upon ourselves sometimes, uh, whether we want God's blessing for a church or, or it gets grieved and we just hope that, that uh, 
that we can be strong enough and do what God wants us to do to guide the church in the way that it should go. So anyway, threw a lot at you pretty quick. There's a lot more to that, but I'm going to quit. I'll let it go for now. Come see us.